and welcome to C programming tutorial now let's start a new project I'm going to click on create new project here and I will then select console click on go click on next that's going to be C click on next and I'm going to give that a name I will call it interest calculator there we go and click on next I'm going to then click on finished there we go and right there that's my interest calculator source file there double click on the main source file and right in there what we have is uh, we have the system the system actually imported the following default library I want to get rid of all of this let's get rid of that and underneath here I'm going to invite in the math library because I'm going to need that as well so let's say math.h and right in here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare the following variable so one of them is going to be using the data type int so I'm going to call that a loan that's the amount of loan then I'm going to put comma then uh, we specify duration of pay comma and monthly monthly payment comma and I will also need I because the I am going to be using that I for to use for my loop now the next thing I'm going to do is to create another data type that is float and that is I rate interest rate and payback there we go now I have the two different types of variable I intend to use now let's start by asking the end user to do as follows so the very first thing is let's ask the end user to enter the amount of loan so in there I'm just gonna say enter the amount of loan there we go I'm going to say go to the next line so that we enter the amount in the next line okay let's use scan F I will use that to enter the data for the loan so in here that is going to be loan amount of loan to be taken so I'm going to comma here enter comma and enter my variable make sure you enter a semicolon there and semicolon here as well and there so when you run the program this will pop up asking you for the amount of loan you want once you enter the amount of loan it's officially stored right in here okay let's copy that it's copied come right down here and I'm going to paste it again. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to enter the duration. No, let's enter the interest first. Let's come in here. I'm going to say interest rate. Interest rate. Okay, that is the interest rate for the loan. All right, interest rate for the loan all right then and the interest rate i'm going to be using this i interest grab that and just paste that right in here interest rate for the loan okay there we go now the next one is going to be duration of payment so let's change that to duration of payment all right with the duration of payment I already have pay duration to so grab that and just paste that in here pay duration there we go I think that is it so here the rate I'm going to change that to F let's convert it to F okay that's fine what else do we need to do 
and now let's work out the total loan and so on so payback and what you're going to be paying back is going to be payback equals loan right here grab the loan paste that in there and I'm going to multiply that by and we say one plus interest rate let's divide that by 100 comma let's enter payment duration there grab that and paste that in here there that is the formula to pay uh, for the total payback now that we know the formula for the total payback the next thing we want to do is to then output that in here I'm going to say print F let's say final payment um, let's say plus interest rate final payment plus interest rate is pound F to the next line ourself float F to the next line and it's just a comma payback enter semicolon there and here I'm just gonna enter months monthly monthly will be equals payback so what I'm trying to achieve in here now is to for this to give me the monthly payments payback divided by payment duration there we go however we can run the system for now but let me just comment this out and in here let's just say return because I want to work out the the monthly payment okay so I'm gonna try this out this let's close this here I'm gonna try this out then before I include the monthly payback so let's compile first and we take it from there all right enter the amount of loan let's assume that's the amount of loan then the interest rate happens to be 3.7 and duration of payment let's say it's about 12 months there we go that's the amount you end up paying 11,000 plus okay but let's show the monthly payment so I'm gonna come back down here you see this monthly payment that I entered now let's use a for loop to do that for I remember the I that was declared earlier that was equals one and I will now say I less than payment due plus one column I plus plus right so bring that up now I want the system to print the following for me so let's grab get hold of this paste that in here final payments okay let's say payment per year is not final payment final payment is already there payment per month really oh no per year okay payment per year and that is going to be percent d i'm going to enter a column in, in there then percent d again go to the next line close that up and let me enter my data in there i want that to show if i enter 12 months i would like 12 months to be 
listed one two three up to twelve then I will then enter the monthly monthly payment in there close that okay guys I think that will be all so let's have a good look at the lines of code I'm gonna run it now let's bring this up a little bit all right so that you guys can see it those are the lines of codes there so let's compile and run all right so in there I'm just gonna enter let's go for about 32,000 plus and interest rate i'm going to make that 5.3 and let's say duration of payment that's going to be about 12 months no 12 years there we go look at that so that is the approximate payment you'll be making per year so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel so you have a nice day guys and bye for now